Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2024 Volkswagen Atlas SE with technology 4 motion turbo. This particular one is pure white on the exterior with Shetland beige leather on it, leatherette on the interior. It features LED headlights, LED turn signals and reverse lights, an illuminated front logo right there, an LED light bar in the front, the new much more aggressive front end, the nice sharp bow line that goes down the side, out of the headlights, over the wheel arches, under the door handles and into the tail lights. This one has a 20 inch black alloy wheels, black roof rails, silver window sills, tinted windows. Look at that. An illuminated rear logo and an illuminated LED tail light bar on the back. Dual faux exhaust tips at the base of the bumper here underneath the oversized reflector. It says Atlas right below the logo there. 5,000 pound tow hitch with a seven pin adapter included right there. It says SE off to the left, four motion off to the right. That's how you know it's all wheel drive. This one comes with the optional black wheel package and an optional panoramic sunroof. Let's take a look at the inside. As we open this up here, wood grain interior on the interior here, Shetland beige leatherette here, perforated leatherette below that, and more leatherette down here on the arm pad. Bottoms to the storage, to the door handles now, silver tips on the window switches, and a power lift gate. You can actually open that from the driver's seat and also close it from the driver's seat. Simply lift up and hold. That's going to close it. The catch is make sure you hold it till it's done. Stainless steel scuff plate here. Leatherette seats that are diamond stitched right here. Heated and ventilated seats at that. A dual contrast stitch right here on the bolster that goes up behind the shoulders. A double head, a, a double um, contrast stitch on the headrest as well. Manually adjusted there with that button. Power lumbar, power forward, back up and down, and seat back adjust there. Trimmed out in black. And as we climb in here, before we sit in the seat here, there's a look at the back seats there. Diamond stitch on the two outboard seats there. This is the bench set up there. Passenger seat as well. And as we climb in here, Volkswagen's digital cockpit. There's three main views here. Actually, four main views here just by hitting the view button over here on the right. I can change what's displayed there. There's one, there's two, three, and then four different settings there. And then also, if you have this one with the date and time, you can hit the down arrow and change how it's displayed there. So you can use speed, speedometer there, driving data, blank in the middle, or back to date and time. Panel shifters have also been added to these. So you have the flat silver finish on the spokes here with a splash of piano black with some paddle shifters and the logo in the middle. Automatic headlights off to the left with poor weather lights as well. Um, I have these turned on so you could see the light bar. If you notice, the leatherette pattern pattern continues across underneath this piano black just just beneath the blue, the wood grain and the split uh, vents over here on this side you do also have a contrast stitch in the middle here and then leatherette down below as well that goes across under the infotainment screen into the door panel over there on that side and also into the rear door panels as well this one does also have the 10, I'm sorry, the 12 inch screen here. That's standard on all new Atlases, all new 2024 Atlases. And you also have your climate control and everything that's done right here. Just like your cell phone, you have a home button right here. This is a main home screen here with all the menu items here. If I hit this again, it goes to this split screen. I hit it yet again, it's gonna go to that screen there. So it, it toggles between those two. Now, I will tell you this. You do also have gesture control. You see these three little cubes down here. Wave my hand to the left. Whoops, it's not doing it. This one's not doing it. It's making a liar out of me. But you do have gesture control too. You can swipe down, swipe up, and you can also swipe across. There it goes. So now it's doing it. So you can see that there. You also have a subfolder in this one here where you see your tire pressure, oil level right there. And then this one right here, touch that guy right there that shuts off the auto start stop system. Uh, and if you arrow, if you swipe back here, you're gonna notice on the three main cubes, it shows navigation. Even on an SE Tech, you won't have that. So touch and hold right here. The trash can will show up. You can delete that tile and replace it with one of these here. We'll leave that to the first owner. This particular one, it needed fuel, so that's how we marked it, it needed fuel. But you have up here, a storage bin is gone. Now you have a speaker up there as well. Climate control on this guy is done right here. So I can bring that up just by touching the screen right there on the left. There's also a button down here. This button is not nearly com as convenient as this guy up here. So climate control is done right here. All your vent settings are here. You also have rear climate control here. You can turn it off, lock it out, and adjust what's going on there, and fan speed as well. 
just like you can on the front one. So I tap rear again to come back to the front. This adjusts my fan speed up front. I also have air care. Air care is my air filtration system. It's gonna scrub the air before it circulates it in the cabin. The blue line shows you the status or the progress that that air care filtration is making. If you have stinky air near you, um, roadkill, things like that outside, you're not gonna smell it in the car. It's actually gonna filter that air out before it circulates it in the cabin. You also have smart climate. So you have these buttons here where you can do cool feet, warm hands, warm feet, fresh air, quick cooling, all those good things there. You can also speak it. Hello, Volkswagen. Turn on my heated steering wheel. Sure. Heated steering wheel is now on. Awesome. So you can do all of that good stuff from here. With this shift, with this guy here, this new infotainment screen, you get a new shifter as well. But before I get to that, you have this little sill right here. You see it's starting to get dark now. This is not backlit. So these buttons here, you're not gonna use them anyway. I don't use them in my golf but I know they're there. So I can tap here to go high, I can tap the blue to go cooler, or I can swipe across, just like that, to go warmer or cooler. Uh, my volume control's right here in the center. Again, I can swipe. It's actually showing up on camera where you can see these little sensors right here. You won't see that with the naked eye, but the camera's picking it up. There's where your uh, volume control is, and then temperature control on the other side. You also have four buttons down here. Your assist systems, uh, parking menu, which is gonna be park pilot, or park assist, I'm sorry, park distance sensor. Uh, then your climate control there, and then drive modes. This being an all-wheel drive car, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the modes here. There's eco, comfort, sport, and custom. I'm gonna do custom, uh, sport, uh, I'm sorry, comfort, sport, custom, off-road, and snow. The snow mode right there is gonna be dedicated all-wheel drive, but we're just gonna go back to comfort. Um, now. If you use the eco mode, it's going to disable that auto start stop shut off that you push, that button there. So when you pick eco, it's going to kick that off. And then the engine most likely is going to shut off if you're idling, just so you know. Uh, down here, wireless charging. You slide this guy back right here. Your, wireless, your phone sits right here on the wireless charger, face up. This guy over here is just storage. You have two USB-Cs there that are backlit, as you can see. Another USB-C up here on the side for a dash cam. And while I'm up here, we're going to look at this mirror. Auto dimming home link mirror on this one. Not standard, but this one has it. Three-door garage, door memory, and digital compass right there as well. Up here, a vanity mirror on each side with an LED light. You had that on both driver and passenger side right there. I'm going to come back down here. More piano black right here. The park the parking button is, or your button, it, it's a button for park and for drive, reverse, neutral, and sport. It's a shifter. So put your foot on the brake, push up. The reverse gear chimes. There's a little yellow uh, square that shows up there. It highlight it. It chimes like an Audi. You get this screen here. Your backup screen. You have a um, trajectory steering set up here where the yellow line moves accordingly. The green line signifies straight back. The red line signifies where your bumper is and the rear lift gate. There's your park distance sensor where you can disable that too. You push the button to put it back in park. The parking brake you can actually lift up on to activate, and then you put your foot on the brake and push down to release that guy right here the cup holders stadium seat style cup holders one's a little taller than the other one here the back one so your lids aren't battling for supremacy on the way home that gloss black right there the key fob has that as well volkswagen logo on the back then you have your lock your unlock and uh, remote start and also your power lift gate button right there that's also just the hatch unlock and then a panic alarm off to the side storage here storage down below as well these all have uh, interior ambient lighting for them. I believe on the SC Tech it still does that, but it's not the ambient lighting where you can change colors. It's just interior lighting. I may be wrong about that. We'll find out in about an hour when it's dark out, but I don't know for sure that that one has it on all the trims uh, uh, below the SEL. It may be SEL and above, but you do get storage in here too. A, um, there is a drop-in safe we make for this too, so if you're concealed carry, you're worried about securing a weapon, you can actually put it in here and lock it and still have access to this USB-C right here. Over here in the glove box, manuals right there, you have uh, seat belt clip protectors there, and then you also have a bag, a little Ziploc bag down here that has your tire warranties in it as well. Super nice setup here. The passenger seat is manual, manually adjusted. There's two levers on the side here. Uh, one to raise and lower the seat, one to adjust the seat back pitch. But you get more bottle and cup storage over there. There's a look at that giant panoramic sunroof right there. It goes all the way back. I've already kept the sunshade open. Uh, there is a power sunshade for that. We'll show you that real quick. 
uh, it does close all the way but I was using it for light because the sun's going down and I'm running out of time with uh, daylight so I'm gonna actually stop that and have it go back so you can see that again go back but it does close all the way hiding all of the glass and then this guy right here touch and swipe back that's for the sunroof that pane of glass there stacks on top of that one and then you have this pop-up windshade or sunscreen right here uh, at the front while I'm here capacitive touch for your dome lights tap tap turns them on turns them off there's a look at that giant panoramic sunroof let's take a look at the back seat this one comes in at 47 846 extras on this one include panoramic sunroof that power tilting and sliding sunroof 595 for the black wheel package it was 1200 for that sunroof 490 of oh, sorry 405 for the auto dimming home link mirror 346 for monster mats 275 for vw prepaid care for a third year uh, 110 bucks for a luggage net and then 1350 for destination brings you to 47 846 back here in the back man this car's gorgeous on the inside shetland beige really pops gives it an, e an elegant feel and with the light color paired with a sunroof it looks giant on the inside there's a look at your diamond stitch seats there the bench seats on the left side and also the right side here the two outboard seats then you also have leatherette right here in the middle it's just not diamond stitched a fold down armrest in the middle this is how you know you have a new car the squishy yet firm though so you have that right there and you have three car seat setups right there in the middle also these seats do recline and slide forward and back to access the third row you just lift up on this guy here the bottom drops out the seat slides forward so you can have a you can have two uh, front facing car seats on this section here and another one over there and you don't have to remove the car seat just remember to take the kit out so the seat pitches forward you have access to the third row two full-size adults can sit back there those headrests just flick up with the flick of a wrist the seat sets high off the floor so their knees are not in their chest and you just lift up on this guy right here and push that seat back it locks in place and you lift up on the bar down below and slide that seat back into place there's a handle to actually recline a seat as well. I want to climb in here for a quick second so you can see this. There's a look at the uh, leg room that I have there. I'm wearing my dog socks today. Pockets here, pockets here. Uh, and then I can slide the seat even further back. So now I have ridiculous amounts of leg room here. I have easily 18 inches to two feet of, of knee space back here. So I can move this back up to accommodate the third row passengers. And I still have room here. I'm allegedly around 5'11 to 6'1". Uh, I fired the last doctor that told me that I was shrinking. So here's a look up front. Here's a look at the middle here, infotainment. Sunshades are built into these doors right here, both rear doors. You have that there. There's a look at those wheels there. They would come around at the back here. Here's a look through from the back, rubber mat kit, cargo blocks, luggage net there, and then beneath the floor here, I can lift up the floor right here. And underneath, you remove that little pin down there. It's hard to see right now because uh, the daylight's disappearing. But you remove that guy there, unscrew it, and then pull off the floor there, and it hides the spare tire underneath. So your seats here, there's Velcro strap here on each side that attaches there. And if I get that right there, there's a look at it, a full seven-seater there. You can get this with captain's chairs as well. It adds $6.95 to the price. There's your two USB-Cs off to the left. C pillar vent on either side, left or right, right there. And you also have a 12 volt charger port right there and seat belt clips. This car will come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. It's four years, 50,000 miles, and includes three years of uh, prepaid maintenance on this particular unit. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm gonna give you an additional three years of free maintenance on this car. So you'll get a total of 60,000 miles of free oil changes. That's a local deal only on those additional three. You'll have to redeem those at my dealership. Also, remember you can fly in and drive out. I'll pick you up at the airport. If you buy from me, I'll give you a, a, a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty, absolutely free of charge. So if you're interested in this car or another one like it, please give me a call, 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a good day.